I'm Dr. Greg Waslin. I'm the director of the Plastic Surgery Center in Calgary, Alberta. Today, I'd like to discuss some of the principles of liposuction. Liposuction is the most common cosmetic procedure done in North America. It's been done for the past 40 years. It's a technique to remove fat that is difficult to lose with diet and exercise in certain areas of the body. For instance, the chest for males called gynecomastia, the abdomen, the love handles, the lateral medial thighs, and medial knees. And in fact, liposuction can be done anywhere, wherever there is fat that cannot be lost with diet and exercise, but it should not be done for weight loss. Over the past many years, the techniques have improved and changed. For instance, when we initially began liposuction 30 years ago, we were using a cannula like this, big cannula with big holes. And this removed fat in chunks and left the patient with irregularity. And it was difficult to make it smooth because the fat was removed in large amounts with big chunks. With time, in the past 15 years, we progressed to smaller cannula that could remove the fat in smaller pieces and make the skin heal with better contraction and more smooth. But today, we use a technique called safe liposuction. Safe liposuction was first developed and described by Dr. Simeon Wall in Shreveport, Louisiana. Safe liposuction stands for separation of fat, aspiration of fat, and fat equalization. So the concept is you use an exploding tip cannula like this one that has a wider tip than the cannula size. You go underneath the skin into the fat and using a handpiece that reciprocates, moving that tip of that cannula and very fast in multiple areas, it breaks up the fat. It breaks up the fat into small pieces. In doing so, the fat has stem cells and these stem cells are released. Stem cells are essential as they change to other type of cells. They can change to collagen cells, they can change to vascular cells, they can change to bone cells. But in the healing process, it is important that they change to collagen cells that helps skin contraction and vascular cells that helps healing. And so this has been proven to certainly aid and provide much improved results over the standard liposuction. So once we break up the fat with the exploding cannula, we next aspirate the fat with a standard cannula, which is very gentle to the fat and does not cause bleeding. And lastly, we go back with an exploding tip cannula to equalize the fat in the various areas to make the fat smooth and heal in a smooth fashion. And the smoother you make that fat, the better it heals, the more smooth the contour will be, and the better the skin contraction. So today, we can do patients that we could not do five years ago. We can do patients with moderately loose skin, with an older age bracket, and we can do tremendously great work on things like gynecomastia, love handles, abdomens and thighs, using the safe liposuction technique.